What is up everybody, Nick Lego Stava here coming at you with a double review of Lego Marvel Avengers Iron Man Hulkbuster vs. AIM Agents set number 76164 and Lego Spider-Man Miles Morales Mech Armor set number 76171. Yes, a double header. Now, I did that because these are both kind of mechs, and I didn't really want to spam you with LEGO reviews, but I did get both sets, so we're just going to do a double review. We'll start off with the smaller one right off the bat. This is the Miles Morales mech, and Miles Morales doesn't need a mech. He's spider. He's a Spider-Man. He has Spider-Man powers. He doesn't need a mech, but I did get this because I wanted this hood piece and I thought that this mech would make a nice mech for my custom Batman Beyond figure or something. Repurpose it into that, you know, take the, the webbing off the back, you know. All this is, like, articulated. It's kind of funny. But, yeah, the Miles Morales doesn't need a mech. But would make for a good Batman Beyond mech. So, that's really why I got this set. And the figure is not bad. Let's go over the figure. You know, you got the hoodie, the hoodie printed, the newer hood piece, as well as back printing. You do get dual molded legs, no printing on the legs. I will show you my custom Miles Morales from the end of the Spider-Verse movie. You can see he has the Jordan 1s, you know, all that stuff. But it is nice to have like an official hooded one from Lego. So there you go, there's that. Just the manual real quick. The set's in the back. Where is it at? I don't think this little one actually shows it. But yeah, there's just that. So we'll move that box out of the way. And I'm going to talk about this more after I talk about that. So let's get into that. Because that's another thing. I wanted to compare and tra contrast a little tiny mech for this big Hulkbuster mech. Now, I don't have the other Hulkbusters. I would like to do a comparison. I would have rather had... The older Hulkbusters. I know they've had three at this point. I wouldn't want the giant one. That one's stupid. I'm talking about the two minifigure ones. They minifigure size ones they did. They did one for Age of Ultron, and then they did one for some other Iron Man set or Avengers movie. But this is the latest one, and I gotta say the thing that I hate about this, I literally hate, is this this headpiece is so narrow and awkward looking. It looks like they're trying to have an animated looking figure. In Lego form, Oop. I mean, a piece of my hair is literally stuck under that sticker. I don't know if you can see. This is in 4K, but I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's bend them over so you can actually see that. That is printed on, so I do like that it's not a sticker. They usually don't do stickers on rounded pieces because they don't stick very well. So you do get two printed pieces there, which is nice, something Lego doesn't usually do. Also, the Miles Morales mech, that piece is printed right there, even though it could have been a sticker, but I guess they didn't want to have a sticker sheet for such a small set and they were just like you know what it's one piece we'll print it but this mech has less articulation than this cheap mech so this more expensive set has less articulation this has movable hip movable outward kicks splits hip and a knee joint and an ankle joint and elbows that move, and wrists that move, and fingers that move. So very articulated. Lego has gotten good with their mechs. Even though they are giving them to characters that don't need them, this is a nice mech. But this right here, it's big, it's bulky, but it does not have any knee articulation at all. It looks like it would. They did this complex knee design here. That's usually not something I'm used to seeing in a... a, a Official Lego set, this kind of design with that triangle pin right there is not something you traditionally see in factory Lego sets. It's usually something people do custom-wise. But they, they circumvented that to still not have knee articulation, just how it's connected. If you disconnect this back part, oops, I meant to disconnect both of those, whatever, we'll just take them off. You do get a knee joint, but it's really, it's loose because it has so much weight on the pieces, so... You don't have a knee joint for this big guy, and this joint right here on my copy of this Lego set is really loose. Like, it's sad. I'm probably not even going to be able to use this in a stop motion because 
that is so loose. So, or maybe I'll contact Lego and get a new piece because that's way looser than it should be. And let's see if we can even get them standing with taking those pieces off the other leg. Yes, you can. So you can gain a knee joint if you take these pieces off, but it, you do lose stability on it because it is such a big figure. But there, like I said, there's just less articulation between this and the, the smaller mech. Oops, I just popped the finger off. But it does look pretty decent besides this head part that I talked about being too narrow and kind of goofy looking. But Iron Man can sit in there. We'll go over this Iron Man figure from this set. So right here, it's not the older Iron Man piece that you can actually flip up. It's the, the newer one that's more slimmed down. But it looks like he's chewing gum or something on the print. It's just kind of an awkward looking thing. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really seen the latest Avengers stuff. This is probably more... It looks more cartoony than it would from any new Avengers movie. But, eh. I mean, it's just, it's an alright Iron Man figure. If it wants to focus, why is it not focusing? Yeah, he's got the print there with the, the technology, but it's not the pop-off helmet. So that's really wasted because you have to pop off the whole helmet for him to have the inside of the Iron Man thing. So it's kind of stupid. And then he has just the regular Tony Stark. So, I mean, eh. It's an eh on that figure. He does have leg printing. That's nice. And back printing. And then the other Iron Man figure in this set is Rescue? Is that really the name of this Iron Man figure? It looks like a, a female Iron Man, uh, Iron Woman, Pepper, maybe? Is that what? That's not her name, Pepper. I'm thinking of the, the Lego Islands game. Whatever her name was. I know it started with a P. That's probably just her in an Iron Man costume. But yeah, there's that. You get these little missiles on this pod thing. Those are pretty powerful. If you shot someone in the eye with that, I don't think that'd end too well. But yeah, there's that. And he has to sit down in the mech. That's what I was trying to get to before I circumvented away from that into the figures. He can't just you can't just put him in there standing up, also because that just is just that awkward narrow headpiece. I just I wish they did the rounded one like they did on the other two. I just wish I had the one of those other two to begin with. The one that came with the Hulk or the one that came with Bruce Banner, not as the Hulk. So whatever year those came out, I know probably a couple years ago and then like 2014 or something. So yeah, this is the third, technically the fourth, the third like more minifigure one. But eh, that's just kind of my uh, opinion of this. It's just kind of like, eh, I wish this hair was not here though. <laughs> I don't know how that's, uh, that usually doesn't happen. I think I just got it off. Yes, I did. But it's just, it's not very poseable. You would think that it would be, but stuff pops off. It's not very good. You know, I'm being a little negative, but it's it's not that great of a, a Hulkbuster, you know? Eh. Eh. <laughs> I don't, it's just not great. You do have a waist right there. And... Just really, that's, why would they do that? Why would they have it to where it looks like you would have knee articulation, but then lock it in place with this overly complex mechanism? Like, they could have had knee articulation, you know? And they could have had this piece. Like, this piece is so loose. I might just heat it up myself and bend the peg out, because that's all I got to do to make that tighter in there, but... Yeah, eh. and there's another piece. These fingers pop off way too easy, so kind of annoying. Any other printed pieces on here? No, just those two. And you have to angle it up. On the box, they show the rescue. That's such a stupid name. You have to angle the arm up for that to work. Like, you have to have a little parrot mode on the shoulder, and you don't have a separate hinge there, so you have to have the arm up in this awkward way for that to sit up there. So that was just stupid. They just do goofy little things like, oh, it's more play value, oh my god, ah. Sure, sure, things pinning on in awkward ways, such more play value. But let's get on into the other figures that you get in this set, and you get this extra piece right here. This is a newer piece, it's probably too small. No, it's not too small to focus on. It's like a little gas mask piece, a little underwater piece. So it is nice to get one of those as an extra piece. I will show you the 
bag of extra pieces right there. I just put it in the hand so I wouldn't forget to talk about that because I usually forget to talk about the extra pieces in the set. But you get these nice goggle pieces. I don't know when that stopped recording, but probably after I just did all that fun stuff and like broke the set. That was hilarious. But you all probably missed it because this stupid phone has a 10 minute time limit. I'm done. I'll actually continue the I'll actually continue the review, but I am I am pretty mad because I freaking lost out on that hilarious clip. I, that will never happen again. What you just missed out on will never occur. I will try to recreate it, but it it's not going to happen in the same way. But let's continue talking about the figures here. Um, I I know this has a separate gas mask piece, and this jetpack is supposed to be on this guy in the instructions, but I I did that differently. But blah 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 blah. Whatever. All I basically was saying that. This giant mech versus these two little guys. It's like Iron Man is just, he's got drug with power. He's like, I don't give a shit who I have to take out. I'm going to fuck your life up. Rah! And then I like broke the freaking set on accident doing that the first time. But it, it happened in such a, a more funny way. I just really wish that was recorded. It's recorded in my mind, but... Not on the camera, because let's just have 10 minute time limits to screw him over. And then I was like, oh, I guess that's play hour with Nick Lego Stava. <laughs> but it was just hilarious because the flick fire missile, like it got hit by Iron Man's hand. It flew out over there. It just, it looked amazing. I, I really wish I had that on camera, but whatever. There's my thoughts of this set. You get this all right. I Hulkbuster. I needed a Hulkbuster for the collection and people on eBay are charging absolutely insane prices for the other two minifigure scale Hulk busters. But I really got to figure out how to, to properly circumvent the 10 minute time limit without the autofocus being annoying on that other app, because you miss out on hilarious moments like what just happened in the review because of that. But there's the end of this double header review. If you're new, watch other videos, decide if you want to subscribe. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you already dropped a like, thank you so much. Have a great day. Peace.